What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Empire Motor Club vlog. Today I have my 993 out and it hasn't been on the vlog for a very long time. Well, since I guess our very first vlog and we got so much love and support for that, I figured that it was the right time to bring it back. The big announcement is we are going to put the 993 on the market for sale. It is an interesting decision and I'll explain to you guys in a little bit. It's something that we have been going over for a very, very long time. This car has been with us for over three years now. We put a lot, a lot of work into it. And you guys have seen how much work we've put in. It's been a part of our lives. It's a car that we absolutely love. It's beautiful, it's unique. But since we had Katia Sky, our daughter, Dizzy and I, we were talking about, you know, experiencing new things in life and making some changes. And even with watches, I've noticed that I made a lot of changes about my personal tastes and preferences. I guess we go through different phases in life and I am going through a phase right now where I kind of want to move on from Porsche. I'm gonna try a different brand out. We just don't drive the 993 anymore and we feel like it's a waste just leaving the car there in our garage. Dizzy doesn't drive it that much at all. And I found myself driving the GTR more. I find myself driving the C63 more. I don't know. I mean, looking at this car, it's fucking beautiful. It's fucking perfect. And I guess sometimes we just move on from things. We realize that this Porsche probably won't be for Porsche collectors. It's not for the purists. I realize that. When I built this car, a lot of purists were giving me a lot of shit, asking me why I was doing all these things, because it should have all original OEM stock parts. But I am me, I prefer to do things my way. Now we're gonna go for a little drive. I'm gonna take you guys around Taipei City and I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I feel about the car, um, the driving aesthetics and how I live with the car. I'm gonna show you guys more about the car so you guys can understand everything about this 993. So let's go for a little drive. I got the keys right here. You guys are gonna tag along for the day. Come on, let's do this. Every time I'm down to build a project and when I start doing research, my imagination just goes and all these aftermarket parts just, you know, it's kind of like the devil talking in your ears like, hey, Sonny, get this. We want to be on your car. <laughs> Let's talk about this car. I think that I made this car exactly how I wanted it to be. And does it drive exactly how I wanted it to be? It's a 1996 Vario Ram engine. It had about 282 horsepower, which at the time in 1996 was considerably a lot of power, but by today's standards, it's not. And it does not have the visceral raw feeling of the six-speed manual transmission which I have driven and do I wish I had it in this car sometimes yes but sometimes no I think that this car drives really really well in the city as well as cruising as well as on the highway there's not a lot of noise inside the cabin and it's a very very smooth drive the transmission is a four-speed automatic, very smooth. Do I use the Tiptronic? To be honest, no. I don't feel like there's a point using the Tiptronic. And that's why I actually changed to a Gumbala steering wheel. I didn't like the feel of the buttons on the newer 996 steering wheel. You can put the newer 996 steering wheels on here, which a lot of people did. But uh, I just kind of put these little horn buttons on it uh, where my thumb lays. So where my thumb is when I'm driving, just so I can honk the horn like this. So back to this car being fast. Huh. It's quick. It's not fast. You know, there, I said it. It's not fast. It's quick. 
Oh, what do we have here? We have a McCann S. Can I take on a McCann S? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, I guess. But I mean, why would you want to go that fast? You know, like, I mean, you're in a 993, you're in a classic car. Just enjoy the drive. You know, like, you don't need to worry about going so fast or being faster than other cars. It's an icon. This is a legend. How does this classic vintage Porsche compare to other classic vintage Porsches, such as like the 930 or the 964? Well, I think that it drives better than all those cars. You know, out of all the vintage Porsches, this particular model is my favorite. And when I went out to buy a vintage Porsche, this was the one that I was looking for. I obviously went and looked at a lot of 964s, but the 993 was the one to get for me. The lines, the curves, and that sexy booty. Damn, I mean, this car just has such sexy curves. Like, that butt, so round, so juicy. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> This is about class. This car is super classy. It's an icon. When you drive it out, people will know you have superb taste. So we just got to Big Bears and the car is on the lift. Come down here, I'll check it out. I'm popping my Asian squat right now, but just to make sure I'm right under the engine, I'm right under the headers, and there's no oil leaking. So, the engine was done by a very famous engine builder in Taiwan called Asanzhe, and his shop is called Dongjing. So all the records of our engine build, as well as the transmission, is done at Dongjing. It starts every single time. Even when I don't start the car for like a month, it starts. The condition is just mwah, superb. So you see the H&R sway bars, there's front and rear, the turret links, we got the control arms, the end links, the sway bar links, we have the KW coilovers, and we also have a bump steer kit in here. So the suspension is pretty much race spec. I never track the car, and I probably never will track the car, but I did it because just for the hell of it. I've been squatting here all this time and there's no oil. What does that say? It says that the engine is top notch quality. And while the car is on the lift, I know you guys have seen these wheels, the vintage 501s. God, these are, I think these are the most beautiful vintage wheels ever made. It fits the 993 perfectly. And obviously there's an orange tint here we have the Alcon Car 97 and Car 98 calipers in the front and rear. This is a special set made by Alcon Brakes for me. And we will have a dope collaboration very soon. So stay on the lookout for the EMC by Alcon Brakes collaboration. Now, the interior cabin. I wrapped these roll bars, these are the DAS roll bars in Alcantara to match the turbo seats, which I also did in leather and Alcantara, to match the handbrakes as well as the shift lever and the steering wheel. These are all Alcantara and I have the RS door panels in real leather with uh, orange RS door pulls to match my orange seat belts. I actually put in a fire extinguisher in the back. I'll probably never use it. Hopefully the next owner will never use it. It's just for looks. What's really cool about the interior, I mean, is the iconic five circles in the dash. It's so iconic, it's so beautiful. When you sit in here, in this cockpit, it's so simple and understated, but it's like a work of art and I love it. I decided to buy the Porsche Classic Navigation Radio or the Porsche Classic Radio Navigation. I never remember the name, but I'm so glad I got it. I'll show you guys how to use it. It's got Bluetooth, you know, you need Bluetooth. 
and it, it's just so easy to use. Unfortunately, the navigation doesn't work because we are in Taiwan. But if you're in North America or in Europe, it does work. However, we're in Taiwan, so we don't have the maps for that. Porsche, you should get on this. You should get on this. Got a new AC system in here, all new piping. It's very cold because Taiwan is hot all year round. The other things about this car is that this has a sunroof and it works. All the buttons work and it opens up really fast. Now we have better lighting, so I'll keep this on. What else? What else? Well, you know, the seats are power seats. You know, it goes back, forward. Yeah. Well, enough about the interior. This car drives super, super well. It's very smooth. And I love the Fab Speed exhaust sound because the Fab Speed exhaust makes this car rumble a little bit and it gives it that extra bass. when I stomp on it, it goes and other people know. And just like all these scooters right here, they let me make my turn. Usually scooters, they never let you go. So I think it's essential and I think it's very, very necessary to have an exhaust on a 993. It just needs that extra sound. And it puts a big smile on your face when you're driving. We are heading back to the EMC studio right now, but this car to me, is the perfect 993. Obviously, there's the RS, and there's the Turbo, there's the Turbo S. This car is just the Carrera, but it has the sexy big booty wide body, and it's just so sexy. It's just, ugh, it's so yummy. <laughs> it's like Dizzy's booty. <laughs> anyway, I'm back at the garage. We will make an ending right here, so I'll see you guys in a sec. I'm now back at EMC Studio. I've decided to just sit in the car and just kind of take it all in, thinking about the decisions that we're making. I mean, just a lot of things going through my head, but as I was sitting here and just breathing everything in, I just had all of these memories and images in my head of the entire build. It's been a long journey. It's been a process and I've learned so much about cars in general with this build. My passion for cars and building cars and doing car projects grew exponentially because of this project. I think that all of my other projects in the past have been more for show, but also a little bit of my own ego and also to try to separate myself from the rest of the crowd. I don't buy like super limited edition cars because I like to tinker with cars. If I were to buy, let's say, a Ferrari 430 Scuderia or a GT3 RS, I would not modify it that much. And because I would not modify it that much, for me personally, it takes the fun out of playing with cars. Although, I would love to have like a limited edition, like let's say, you know, like an SLS Black Series. I would love to have that car to complement my wife's C63 Black Series. But there are cars out there that are not meant to be touched. And I think sometimes I believe and I am in line with the purists. However, this car, when I got it, it was at a price point where it wasn't super ridiculously expensive and I was able to put money into it because I wanted to make this car into something special. I really firmly believe that this 993 is definitely one of the best in all of Taiwan. I really stand by these words. I mean, except if you have a real 993 Turbo or if you have 993 RS, um, I just wouldn't touch those cars. But for a Carrera, you can't beat this car. 
It's got the Carrera S wide body. It's got the Turbo S inlet hole. It's got this retro color on it that... So I am officially putting my 993 out on the market and it's going to be for sale. So if any of you guys watching this video are interested in this car, please contact us. Only serious inquiries only. So that is about it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed everything that we've been filming and all my experiences and my thoughts. And let me know what you guys think about me and Dizzy making the decision to sell this car. I'll see you guys on the next episode. And maybe on the next 993 episode, it'll be time to say goodbye. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.